before we begin, I wanted to just ask you a little question. Have you, have you ever wanted to learn something, but just felt like you didn't have the time? Or have you ever thought to yourself, can, is what I'm learning, can it be learned in half the time? Well, in this video, I want, I want to dive a bit deeper into those two questions. And specifically, I'm talking about the book, The Arts of Learning by Josh Waitkin. So without further ado, let's begin. Them L's, baby. I've experienced them. I'm sure you have experienced them. And let me tell you something about L's. L's, you have to learn how L's taste before you can learn how winning tastes. Losses and L's have their benefits. And the author specifically talks about a time when he was in a chess tournament when he was 10 years old. The author was continuously losing at chess tournaments, right? And this was when he was 10 years old and he was actually in adult competitions. And this forced him to go into introspective mode. He was constantly asking himself, like, what's wrong? What am I doing? Like, am I, am I doing something wrong? And this introspection actually led him to realize that uh, adult matches are actually much longer. Because these adult matches were much longer, he was losing uh, focus on and concentration much quicker than his opponents. To do something about it and this would not have been possible if he wasn't up against opponents that were better than him in uh, the profession and in hindsight these losses or l's carry with them seeds of opportunity if you're willing to actually dissect them and the way i look at it they're not losses yo they just lessons baby the author talks about two approaches to learning first is the entity approach and second is the incremental approach entity approach we see our skills abilities and talents as a fixed entity and success or failure is largely dependent on how much that entity we actually have within us and this entity approach you're much more likely to, to, to give up at the first sign of uh, failure or a hurdle or an obstacle just because you believe that you don't have that certain amount of uh, entity within you. And this entity approach truly stops you from actually learning. Then we have the incremental approach. The incremental approach essentially says we know we have the ability to grasp a certain concept or skill as long as we put in that work, baby, you know? So with this approach, you are much more likely to rise to the challenge. And next time you learn something new, remember, incremental approach, baby, incremental approach. Any technical information can be made to feel like a natural, instinctual intelligence as long as you practice them and apply them enough. Let me give you a personal example. So back in 2009, me and the fam, we moved over to the UK, right? And over in the UK, playing football, not uh, soccer for all of you Americans out there, was a big thing. It was like a religion out there. If you did not play football, you were kind of uh, somewhat of an outcast, right? So I decided to learn. But like most things, when I first started off, I was, uh, I was, I was bad to say the least, you know? So. I was playing, I was constantly playing with uh, people in my age group, but I just found like, yo, everyone seems to be amazing at this, you know? So I decided to take the time to, to, to practice my, uh, to, well, to refine, practice my craft. I did this in two ways. One, by playing with people that were actually better than me, and two, playing in my free time. And let's take, let's take uh, certain skills in, uh, in football, right? Like let's say passing and shooting. When I first started off, I could not do either of those. When I first started off training and playing, it took a conscious effort to know exactly what part of my feet I needed to use to pass and shoot. With time and constantly playing and applying those uh, skill sets, it's uh, become a, a conscious uh, habit to the point where I don't have to think about it when I'm playing today. And the greatest benefit of refining your intuition is it frees up a lot more of your conscious mind and you're able to zoom out on different details if you have the actual if you actually have the conscious mind to be able to do it you can zoom in on details if you don't have to constantly remind yourself how certain patterns work efficient recovery techniques can also help to boost your performance the thing is about insufficient rest insufficient rest leads to repetitive uh, insufficient and imprecise thinking and this is due to the fact that our minds can only concentrate on one thing for a limited amount of time and our minds perform much better after a good night's rest and the more the more you're able to clear your mind during a break the better you actually perform when you come back to doing the work 
And what's actually incredible is a lot of superior performers are able to, to rest and recover in a short amount of time. And take uh, chess tournaments for example. A lot of these uh, high level chess players are actually able to fully look, recover in breaks of about let's say one minute. Psychologists at the Human Performance Institute in Orlando actually re uh, discovered that the ability to rest and recover in a short amount of time actually is a precursor to being a lead performer in whatever skill or uh, talent you're pursuing. You can actually improve your ability to rest in short amount of time frames by implementing cardiovascular interval training. And this is essentially performing short, high intensity workouts with uh, rest periods distributed throughout the workout. And routines, baby! If you don't have a routine, you gotta get and manufacture yourself a routine. Routines are the key to getting in the zone and creating a routine actually creates a psychological connection between that routine and the performance that you give after it. And you can use that routine for multiple, multiple things from football to basketball to chess to even work. And with once you create your routine, depending on your own schedule, you can uh, shorten it. And if you want to spend more time in it, you can uh, you can lengthen it as well. And with practice, you end up reaching a point where you only think about that routine, and it clicks in your mind to to push you into that high performance state. And that's all, yo. I hope you got some value. Hopefully, you know, with these videos, I want you to be implementing the things that I'm saying. You I don't want you just to listen behind the computer or phone, feel good, and then continue on whatever with whatever you're doing. Implement this, yo. This implementation is the key to improvement, baby. So yeah, I mean, I don't know what I'm what, I, what I'm talking about. To be honest, I'm just I'm the person that makes videos. But yeah, anyway, if if you got any value, <laughs> sayonara. Yo.